Hey, what's up, Goal Guards? Welcome to the latest episode of Goalie Talk, the place where we talk about goalie things and hockey things, and really at this point, anything that you guys wanna ask me. Submit your questions on Instagram DM, Facebook DM, or shoot me an email. I've also got a contact form on my website where you guys can submit your questions there as well. All of that information will be down in the description below. I know a lot of my goalies are sporting their quarantine haircuts, so I actually have had to do mine here at my apartment. My girlfriend took some off the back. I tried to get the sides. Um, it's not too bad, but for those of you that uh, wanna cover up your quarantine haircuts, Get your mental goalie hats over on my website. I'll put a link into the description below. Cover up those moths if it's looking pretty bad. Um, I, got, I got you covered. So um, check out the link in the description and check out that store. I've got some cool posters and other apparel over there as well. I actually really wanted to do the mullet and go nice and short on the sides, let it grow out on the back. The, uh, the women in my life did not support that. They did not support the mullet, but I want it to happen. So if you guys want the mullet to happen, let me know in the comments and maybe I can uh, use that to leverage my case a little bit. I hope everybody is doing their best to stay safe and be active during this quarantine. It can be really difficult to motivate yourself to do workouts or to go outside. I myself am a big procrastinator and it can be difficult to motivate myself sometimes. So what I like to do is to make a list with easily achievable goals. Five minutes here, 10 minutes there, of maybe a workout or just something I need to accomplish throughout the day. That helps me stay active, it helps me stay busy, and most of all, it helps me feel like I'm accomplishing certain goals. So if you know you have an issue getting yourself motivated during the day, start off with a list. Just list the small things that you wanna get done, and from there, you'll feel more accomplished and you'll be able to tackle on even larger and larger goals as you go. So without further ado, let's start this thing off. And the first question comes from Alex through Facebook. What is the worst piece of gear, in my opinion, to break in? I think this one would be all over the place, depending on who you ask. I know some guys will say they're gloves for sure. It's the chest protector for me, just because of the amount of movement you need in your arms and being able to lift your hands up above your head and extend them out to make a save. That for me is always the hardest part to get used to, loosening up the arms and loosening up the uh, shoulder protection. So this next question comes from Seth and Seth is one of my goalie students. Seth wants to know how old is Izzy. Izzy is the assistant mental goalie coach if you guys have watched my videos. So let me go get her and I will answer that for you. So here she is. This is assistant mental goalie coach Isadora. Izzy turns three on May 14th, so wish her a happy birthday. What's cool is Seth has uh, sent me videos of him doing the workouts that I've put on YouTube before, and uh, his cat has gotten in the way of him doing his workout, so uh, that's kind of funny. Cat lovers stick together. So our next couple of questions come from a familiar name. This is John from Instagram, and I'm thinking we might just need to call this the John Talk Show because John does submit so many questions, but I love that he's engaged, he watches the videos, he enjoys it, so keep the questions coming, John. What age is the most influential skill-wise in a goalie's career? On my website, I have a great breakdown of how to measure on and off ice ability. It, can be totally different for every goaltender. A goalie who starts playing goalie when he or she is seven is going to be more advanced by the time they're 14 than the goalie who started when they are 12 and they have only had two years of training under their belt. In a broad term, I would say the skills wise, the most influential point would be between 12 years old and 14 years old. That's when the pace of the game really starts to change. Shooters are getting faster, shots are moving faster. But again, that really is in a general sense. If that goaltender in question started playing goalie when they were seven or eight, then definitely between 12 and 14 are those most influential years where you'll definitely see a separation between those goalies who are training really hard, trying to get better, versus those goalies who maybe don't take it as serious. That's really where you'll see a big separation. But again, a goalie could start when they're 10 years old and then they're whole skills measurement is completely different than the goalie who started playing when they were seven years old. I would say 10 years old for that goalie who just started is going to be most influential because they're having to catch up three years on those goalies who started when they were, you know, at the end of mites or the beginning of squirts. But definitely check out that write-up that I have on my website about skills measurement because it really goes in depth on how we can measure um, different goalie skills and what kind of categories we can put them in at the different development stages. John's next question is, do you think it's worth it for a goalie to practice shooting with a player stick and gloves? Well, I will say this, John, I am glad to know that you are practicing your shot because it does need all the work it can get. Thank you, props on that, good job, buddy. 
In a very real sense though, this is a yes and no answer. As long as a goalie uh, or a player is shooting and they're being active, they're practicing their shot, getting better, doing everything they can to get better, I will never say that that's a bad idea. For my goalies, I really hope you guys are using your goalie gloves, your blocker and your glove and your goalie stick to practice your shot. Partially this is common sense in the sense that how often will you be shooting a puck with player gloves and a player stick? Probably not very often. So I really want you to get as much practice as you can saucing the puck with your glove and blocker. That's how you'll be catching the puck in a game. That's how you'll be shooting it down the ice. That's how you're gonna make your outlet passes. But again, shooting with a player stick and player gloves is fine because you're getting the motion down. You're at least getting out there, being active, working on your shot as much as you can goalies. Please use your glove and blocker, use your goalie stick because that's how you guys will be handling the puck. So we are gonna wrap this one up today with a cool double question from Nick through Instagram. I'm gonna give you my answer, but I want you guys to go ahead and give me your answer in the comments below. What is my favorite hockey movie? And what is my favorite non-hockey related show? I love it, Nick. So there are so many good hockey movies out there. It is really hard to pick one. If we consider Happy Gilmore a hockey movie, that's gotta be up there in my top three. And then of course, there's always The Mighty Ducks, which is something I grew up on watching that in the car going on road trips. But overall, I've gotta go with Miracle on Ice about the 1980 Olympics. And I'll be honest to you, I cry every time I watch that movie. Really, that movie portrays more than just the ride and the journey of that team, but it shows the journey of Herb Brooks as a coach and as a man and as a father. And um, it, it's just, they did an incredible job in that movie. And I know it might be the typical hockey movie for everybody to pick as their favorite, but Miracle is my favorite movie. Now my favorite non-hockey related show. I don't know if you guys have been able to pick up on this in my previous videos, but when I call Izzy my assistant to the mental goalie coach, I am quoting and pulling from, of course, The Office with Dwight Schrute being assistant to the regional manager, Michael Scott. I absolutely love The Office. I basically leave it running on all the time. I could probably quote you anything from it, but that is my show. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite hockey movie and what is your non favorite non-hockey related show? I do wanna put in a little healthy, happy hockey tip for you guys. A few of my goalies that I train have messaged me about um, feeling sore and what can they do. Get a roller. Seriously, get a roller, get a tennis ball, get something to roll yourself out with. Um, this is a really basic one, like 15 bucks on Amazon, I think. Take care of yourselves, right? We're not on the ice, but we can still get better. We still gotta take care of our bodies. We still gotta train, work out, be prepared for when we're able to hit the ice. Get a roller, roll out, just try to heal those sore muscles, get the blood flowing again. And remember, stay motivated. And like I said at the beginning, write a list. I've got my list right here for today. So seriously, write a list. It will help you. It'll help get all those jumbled thoughts out of your mind to put it on paper and it'll help you get things done. It'll stop you from procrastinating and it'll make you feel accomplished, which is a big deal, especially right now being inside, not getting out, not seeing your friends. It's easy to get depressed. So make a list. You'll feel accomplished guys. Goalies, that about wraps it up for episode three in season one of Goalie Talk. Thank you guys so much for your questions. We got some good ones. I really appreciate it. Submit your comments on anything hockey related. If you guys just wanna get a debate going or you have something you wanna say in regards to the NHL, playing hockey, college sports, anything you want, guys, get it to me, I'll get it in. Again, we're opening this up for anything. It's not a question and answer anymore, it is a goalie talk. So whatever you guys want, we'll talk about it. Guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you on the ice soon, hopefully.